Yo, 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 this is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. I'm magic, and today we are discussing Mars and Scorpio, okay? This is Mars and Scorpio part two, okay? Because the Mars and Scorpio video is the one that is the most watched on my channel. I've covered all of the Mars signs already. Um, the only series that I haven't done yet is the Ascendant Sign series, so I just wanted to make a part two because I am pretty familiar with this Mars placement, okay? So, when it comes to Mars and Scorpio, you've got to realize that when they fall in love, okay? Well, first of all, Mars is um, all about our action, our physical drive. A lot of people um, don't say this, but I really do associate the Mars placement with the sacral chakra. I don't necessarily believe in every single one of the chakra systems or chakras, but I do believe that we have three major energies in our body and the Mars placement can be associated with what people call the sacral chakra. Okay, so number one. Mars has a lot to do with our physical drive, okay? What we feel physically, what physically motivates us, what motivates us to um, to, to action, okay? So a lot of this is kind of like the body, you know, in a sense. And it really does have a lot to do with how much energy we have, what type of energy we have, um... <clears throat> how we are motivated to engage in relationships and so on, okay? And in relationships, it does have a lot to do with our sense of loyalty, our sense of motivation to connect with another person, um, how romantic we are, and the physical connection to romance, okay? So, or the physical aspect of romance, okay? So, when we have Mars in... An extremely intense energy like Scorpio, okay? This is a different type of Mars placement, okay? It is extremely mysterious, okay? It's very dominating. It's very, believe it or not, it's very masculine at times, even for the women, okay? Now, Scorpio is the sign that rules the eighth house, and the eighth house has to do with the death within rebirth process, okay? And it does have a lot to do with kind of like the darker side of humanity. So it really, um, it's a very unique Mars placement. And I would have to say that's probably why it's so much, it's like the most popular video on my channel for the last two months now. Okay, so my grandmother actually has this placement, and I lived with her for many different years in my life. Um, and what I would say is, when it comes to anger, um, these people are not readily angered. Um, they're really not necessarily the type to really be extremely volatile or outgoing. Um, they're more so secretive, they're passionate, they're intense. Um, the sense of anger really has to do with people invading their space, okay? Mars in Scorpio is a very secretive sign, and they really don't like to talk about sex with people, especially people that they feel that, you know, they have certain boundaries with, okay? Now, Mars can usually indicate how outgoing we are, how passionate we are about making a scene, being seen, um, and Mars and Scorpio is very private. They're very private people. They're not so far out of their social circle, and their social circle usually only revolves around their family, who's in their family, friends of the family, and so on, okay? I've never really seen a Mars and Scorpio person being, like, a super popular, super outgoing type of person, they really do like to keep to themselves. Now, Mars and Scorpio, I'd say they're loyal until death, okay? These people could be married for 
many years, many, many years to the same person and be completely loyal to them, okay? Be completely devoted to the relationship. And their focus is very focused, okay? They don't have multiple partners. They're not the type of person to really um, have many different crushes, like maybe a Mars and Gemini or Mars and Leo. Um, these individuals are very focused on one individual and they're very motivated to acquire and keep that one individual, okay? So I would have to say if you don't intend on being loyal to these people, um, are they the vengeful type? Not necessarily. You really want to look at the moon placement, okay? Because if they have like moon in Libra, moon in Leo, moon in... Well, I'd say maybe moon and Taurus, they might be a little bit vindictive because they'd probably have that moon Mars opposition. But um, but yeah, so I mean, you know, do subscribe, do like the video, do leave a comment. Um, also, if you are interested in getting a consultation, please do email me at starswithmagic at gmail.com. I have some pretty reasonable rates and I will leave those in the description of this video. So, yeah, Mars and Scorpio, um, and this is the thing, even though they are loyal, they are more loyal than you would necessarily think to be reasonable, okay? These people can attach themselves to one person and not necessarily think about another person, even if they're not in a relationship, okay? I recently actually started working with a client who has Mars and Scorpio, and she is very, very loyal to this one person that she really does have feelings for. And um, hopefully she doesn't mind me kind of referring to her in this video, but she is very passionate. She is very deep. She is very attached, okay? Um, but the thing is, what I, what I mean by attached, what I mean by loyal to a fault is it's a beautiful thing. Okay, a lot of the time, you know, if we look in life and we see all these people who break hearts because they're not loyal. They break hearts because they're thinking about multiple different people or at least they have multiple different types of relationships because they can't seem to focus on one person. But the thing about Mars and Scorpio is that their loyalty goes until even after death. Okay, my grandmother, she was married for um 16 17 years and her husband died in a very sudden car crash and he was very young and to this day she never had any interest in being with any other person um these people their devotion knows no boundaries they have no problem with um but see, the thing is, they don't just like everyone, okay? Mars and Scorpio has very particular tastes, and if they happen to partner with you, date you, um, seek you out, like, be heavily com uh, complimented, you know, because honestly, these people, their tastes are very, not only particular, but there's got to be a real connection, you know, some sort of a real love a real devotion a real um compatibility there so now as i said in terms of like all the vindictive sides that you usually hear about scorpio it really depends it really depends on the rest of the chart you know mars and scorpio can be a very volatile sign when they get angry okay they might be very um get a little bit violent okay but Mars and Scorpio is not a red flag in astrology and it doesn't indicate somebody who has anger issues. It doesn't mean that this person is a violent person. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the time, astrologers, when they think about, you know, Scorpio, they might think, wow, okay, rage, okay, extreme emotion. But the thing is, Mars is kind of at home in Scorpio. Mars is a little bit happy when they're in Scorpio because... This is the body, and Scorpio has an extremely powerful body, okay? Extremely powerful. The stamina of Mars and Scorpio is very profound, and these people have unlimited amounts of energy, okay? More energy than maybe a, um, 
I would say Mars and Leo, but Mars and Leo is like very, very powerful. It's a very powerful Mars sign. So I wouldn't, I would say the only ones who could, could contend with Mars and Scorpio is maybe a Mars and Leo or maybe a Mars and Taurus because they are opposite signs. I don't know. But with all that being said, you know, it's a beautiful placement for romance in terms of like just having this aspect of devotion. So with all that being said, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you want a part two or a part three, I should say, since I've already done Mars and Scorpio um, aside from this video? So let me know if you need a part three. Okay, peace.